Provisioning your phones may help you save setup time even in small deployments. And in fact, the easiest way to set up a phone for use with 3CX phone system is to use the built-in provisioning functionality. This will allow the phone to configure itself by retrieving a 3CX generated phone configuration file. To fully take advantage of this, you can configure your DHCP server to also deliver to the phone the location from where it can retrieve its configuration file. The result will be completely automated phone configuration. Provisioning is typically a three-stage process. The first, preparing 3CX phone system for time zone and DST settings. The second, is to enable provisioning for an extension to create the phone's configuration files. And the third, and tell the phone where to get its configuration files from. The provisioning mechanism can also set up the phones for correct time, time zone and daylight savings time settings. The installation defaults are for Eastern Standard Time or GMT-5, but we can easily adjust for other time zones. The Custom Parameters page lists several variables with names starting with Time. Different phone brands will require different variables and values, so we will use the Cisco SPA range as an example here and set it for use in Houston. First, the phone will need to know where to get the current base time from. We can set this in the Time NTP server variable. The default value is pool.ntp.org. It will only be necessary to customize this if you want to use an internal NTP server. Next, the phone will need to know which time zone it is in. We can set this in the time time zone linksys variable. The default value is GMT-5. But we can customize this for the Houston time zone by changing the value to GMT-6. Finally, the phone will need to know the start and end dates for daylight savings time and the number of minutes to add when it is in effect. The variables for the dates are time DST start month, time DST start day, time DST end month and time DST end day. In 2010, Houston DST will start on the 14th of March. So valid values are time DST start month equal to 3 and time DST start day equal to 14. In 2010, Houston DST will end on the 7th of November, so valid values are time DST end month equal to 11, time DST end day equal to 7. The variable for the number of minutes to add when DST is in effect is time DST saving minutes. The default value is 60 and typically will not need to be adjusted. For Houston, this value is fine. In the provisioning tab, we simply need to enter the MAC address of the phone and the model. If we also want to preset the phone to monitor activity for particular extension numbers, we can also set this up in the BLF section. Clicking the OK button, will generate the provisioning files for the phone to retrieve. The provisioning mechanism will automatically insert the correct parameters into the provisioning files to configure the phone for the time, time zone and DST settings which we configured previously. Now that the PBX has generated the configuration files for the phone to configure itself, we need to tell the phone where to find these configuration files. There are two main methods we can use to achieve this depending on the phone's capabilities or depending on our needs. The first is automatic provisioning using DHCP option 66. The second is manual provisioning via the phone's web interface. There is a third method possible using TFTP, but this is outside the scope of this training component because it requires the use of additional components that are not part of the standard 3CX phone system installation. 
we can configure the DHCP server on the LAN to deliver to the phone the provisioning path. This is the recommended method. This method will require the services of a full-featured DHCP server on the LAN, such as Microsoft's DHCP server included with Windows Server 2003 or Windows Server 2008. The DHCP server included on small one to land devices and routers are, in most cases, insufficient for this task. Please note that if you intend to introduce a new DHCP server on the LAN, it will be necessary to first disable any other DHCP servers on the LAN to avoid conflicts and unpredictable behavior. In most cases, the DHCP server software you will need to configure for this task is Microsoft's DHCP server, and this example will show you how to configure it for use with SIP phones and the 3CX phone system provisioning mechanism. A DHCP server is typically used to deliver some basic network parameters to devices on the LAN, including an IP address, a subnet mask, a default gateway, and a domain name. However, there are several other additional options that can be specified and delivered to devices on the LAN when these devices are starting up, and we will be using one of these additional options to deliver to the phones the location of the provisioning files. The option we will be using is option number 66. Most phones will use the value of this DHCP parameter to retrieve the configuration files. Each phone vendor will require the option 66 string to be in a particular format, and the format also changes depending whether the 3CX phone system was installed for the built-in 3CX web server or for Microsoft's IIS. This list on screen will help to identify the correct string for our phones assuming that the 3CX phone system machine is running on IP address 10.0.0.11. If the installation uses only one phone vendor, then all you would need to do is adjust the scope options and add option 66 for the entire scope. To add option 66 for the scope, start up the DHCP management console, Expand the DHCP scope, which will contain the phones. Right-click on the Scope Options node and select Configure Options. In the General tab, scroll down the list of options and identify the option labeled 066 Boot Server Host Name. Enable the 066 Boot Server Host Name option and enter the string value according to the examples discussed previously. Some installations will use a mix of phone vendors. Since different vendors require different formats for option 66, in most cases you would need to create a reservation for each phone and customize the option 66 string value for each of these phones. With these DHCP settings in place, any phone that supports automatic provisioning, for example, Cisco SPA509G, will simply need to be factory reset and then connected to the LAN, and upon boot up, it will retrieve all its settings automatically from the 3CX phone system machine. The recommended provisioning mechanism is to use the DHCP with option 66 as it greatly simplifies the deployment. If you do not want to or cannot use the ACP option 66, you will need to manually tell the phone where to retrieve its configuration files. In the case of a Grandstream GXP2000, for example, we need to simply give it a URL path to retrieve files from and also tell it to ignore any DHCP server's attempts to override the setting. Load up the phone's web interface, go to the Advanced Settings tab, Select the Upgrade via HTTP option and in the Config Server Path field, enter the provisioning path. Assuming the 3CX1 system machine has IP address 10.0.0.11, the provisioning path for a 3CX web server install will be 10.0.0.11 colon 5481 forward slash provisioning. While the provisioning path for an IIS install will be 10.0.0.11 colon 80 forward slash management forward slash provisioning. After the next reboot, the phone will retrieve its settings from the PBX's provisioning directory.